Tampa, Florida. A once bustling college town, now getting an education in fear. <laughs> yet again, life has found a way, for there is yet another survivor. Sir, may we talk to you for a moment? Hang on, I'm dropping my Pepsi Cola all over the place. Now, when exactly did you realize you were being attacked by a monster? Well, I was sitting in my bedroom and I was writing my poetry, and the monster come in and they picked me up and they just tossed me in the field like a bag of rice. Just tossed me. And I woke up in the morning and I get no pants on, can't find none of my poetry, and my whole house is gone. He just, the monster just picked up my house and destroyed it. A monster destroyed his home, tossed him like a bag of rice, and stole his poetry. Clearly denial has set in as this poor man drapes his ragged, decimated belongings in caution tape, as if any rational human being would ever try to enter that area again. So has the government acted in any way to support you in your hour of need? Uh, they, they did gave me a phone. They gave me a new telephone. But it ain't got no dang buttons on it. Where's my instruction manual, Obama? I was in Kuwait. I've been face to face with Saddam Hussein. And never have I seen anything more tragic than this idiot man child 